Spock, set phasers on Innovate. Hey everyone, it's Jeff Douglas with Appear and Top Coder. Today we're gonna to talk about attachments in Salesforce. You love them, you hate them, but you gotta use attachments. So if you wanna, for instance, attach some kind of document to a contact record, you have to use attachments, or if you want something customizable, which you can't customize attachments, you have to switch to something like content or chatter files or documents. So, but what if you want to stick with attachments? What if it's fine or a simple purpose for just attaching um, documents to a record? How do you do that, but also customize it? Well, again, you can't do that with the standard attachment object, but you can implement your own custom attachments and use that to make it appear to be using the regular attachments. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a custom object and we're gonna actually enable that object for attachments and then we're gonna actually show that custom object on the related list and remove the standard related list for objects and attachments and notes and then we're gonna create a Visual Force page and a controller to allow you to upload your documents to this new custom object and show it in the related list. All right. So first thing I'll show you is I want to show you the actual object that I built. This is going to replace the attachment object. So um, it's no fun watching me type in declarative work. So I went and had to create this ahead of time. So you see, I've got an object called contact attachment. We're going to be creating attachments for our contact object, and I just called it attachments. And you see, it has a couple of fields here. So we've got a message detail to the contact that gives the security and it binds it to the contact record. We've got a text area description where you can type in text. We've got a, a checkbox where we can determine if this attachment is awesome or not. And we've got a type, which is actually a pick list with a couple values here. If it's plain old awesome, super awesome, or most awesomest, this attachment. And then we have a view. <clears throat> Excuse me, this view is just basically a link you click on, and you can actually open up the attached document. And then we also, last but not least, have an attachment field, which this is gonna hold the ID of the attachment itself for this custom object. So I'll show you that in a second here. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna create a controller. So we've created, I created a controller, update attachment controller, and I'll go through this in a second here after we see how it works, it's a little easier that way. And then I've also got a Visual Force page which calls that controller. <clears throat> Excuse me, so the first thing we wanna do now is we've got, our, we've got our object, we've got our controller and our Visual Force page, is we wanna actually add a button on here. Okay, so we're gonna actually go down here and we're gonna get rid of this attachments right here. I'm sorry, this is the attachment here. We're gonna create a new button here and get replace this new attachment with our own button, which calls our Visual Force page. So first thing we need to do is we need to go in here and create a new button for this. And we're gonna see a new button. And we're gonna call it add. We're gonna make it a list button and we're gonna display it without the sidebar. And we're gonna call this URL right here. Here's, I'm gonna paste it in here. This is gonna call our upload attachment controller and pass over the ID of the contact we're currently at. All right. Let me get that right there. All right, so there's our button. And now we need to add this to our Visual Force page. So let's go back to our Visual Force page here. And we're gonna edit this right here. Let's go ahead and edit the layout. And I'm gonna actually remove this relate list right here, get rid of the standard one, and I'm gonna edit this one right here. And let's throw some fields on here. So let's throw, is it awesome or not? We're gonna throw uh, the type, and we'll throw this. Let's throw the description on here also, just for fun. And then we're gonna change these buttons here. We're gonna get rid of the regular new button, and we're gonna have our add our attachment button show up that calls our Visual Force page. So I'll save that. All right, so now if I scroll down, I see our attachments related list. It looks very similar to what you have out of the box with Salesforce for the notes and attachments. But now if I hit the add attachment, you get this Visual Force page right here. It lets you choose your, your file you're gonna upload, the type of file it is, you got a little pick list down here, and the description. And you can attach the file. So let's go ahead and upload a file real quick and show you how it works. So of course your back buttons. So I'm gonna choose this file right here, um, desktop, and then I'm gonna say this is the most awesome. Uh, yeah, make that an awesome file. Nice. And then we're gonna attach that. That brings us back to our contact record. Now if I scroll down, I should see there's my attachment. I've got my file name, I've got my checkbox, 
you know, the type and the cool for the description. And of course, I can go look at this if I want to, and I can edit everything here. You may want to change some of the security for this so people don't have access to this, or, or somehow, depending on how your org is set up, have some kind of implementation for security. But you, oh, as you can see, the, so here is the actual object, but here's the actual attachment that it's calling. And it's, what it's done is it's written the um, actual ID of this attachment right here in this ID field. So now when I go back and I click on the view, it's actually going to open up this, click on that, it's going to actually open up this document that I attached. And of course it's a man riding a suitcase. So to the end user, it looks a lot like documents. You want to attach it, you may want to get rid of these here, not let them actually select this, set that through security somehow. But this lets you give the appearance of attachments without actually having to be able to customize attachments. You can actually make a lot of modifications to an attachment object. Now, of course, they could, in theory, attach multiple documents to this, attach multiple objects to this object, but it depends how you implement it, if that's going to work or not for you. So let's look at the Visual Force page real quick. Visual Force page just has the markup for you. Know, here's your back buttons, you get your file upload, the type you select of your pick list, you've got your checkbox here, uh, if it's awesome or not, and then you have your description. And there's your button actually that actually calls the process upload. And that's the method in your control that does all the work here. So let's go look at that real quick. So what this does is it has a up, up top here, it has a couple of some values that it grabs from the Visual Force page for your the type, your awesomeness, description that get populated in the controller. So you can see when it gets initialized, it just sets the new controller, contacts for this record, and it has a couple of methods in here. One saves the custom object itself, so that's the custom object attachment, that's the contact attachment record. And then other method saves this attachment on that custom object. It's a little confusing here, but this is the custom object attachment. This is the standard attachment on there. So first one, first one does is that it comes down here in this new process. It's going to insert the new cust contact attachment record. Then it's going to insert the new attachment for that contact attachment as its parent. And then it's going to update the attachment record with the ID of the new standard attachment. So you can see here, here's what we call save custom attachment. And then if it actually has an error, if it didn't save for some reason, it's going to actually throw an error. And we're going to catch, I'm sorry, not throw it, we're going to actually catch anything that comes through here. And we're going to generate a page message with the error and return null. And then it's going to try to save the custom attachment as the, for the standard attachment, the reference to that. If there's some kind of issue with that, if it didn't succeed or, or there's null, it's going to write another page message that there's an error and return nothing. If everything was successful, it's going to actually save both those records and then it's going to update the content attachment with the ID of the attachment itself. That way you can click the view button and download it. And last but not least, if there's any exception, it's gonna write that to the page messages and then it's going to show that on the page. And then of course, if everything's great, it's gonna return you back to that contact page. So kind of giving an <clears throat> idea how that works. We can edit this here and we can take out the requirements for description because description is a required field here. So I'm gonna actually comment this out and this should throw an error here. Now, if I go back and upload this, I want to say upload a new attachment. <clears throat> Choose the file again. Uh, so actually, this should be blank here, so I won't actually save that. You should get your error right in there. So, so that's a quick and easy way to use some um, some custom logic and kind of move the functionality for attachment from the standard object for attachment to a custom object and give the appearance that you're actually using attachments and kind of same functionality so so there you go hope you enjoyed that